Hi everyone, welcome back to Magnifica Popcraft YouTube channel. We are working on another project. I will be using three colors. You can see my ropes here. I'm using green, I'm using this pepper red, and I'm using this off white, almost like silver. You will need scissors, we need our lighter to prove for measurements. We need our clip to hold the work in place. We need the steel ring that we're going to use for the handle. We need our crocheting pin as well. And we need this for the handle of the bag also by the side. Now, for this bag, we are going to be making something like this. You can see, this is the kind of handle that we'll be making for this bag. And that's why we're going to be using this steel ring. So we're starting now. All right, like I said earlier, I'm using three colors. During the work, we are going to see where I'm going to be introducing the third color. Now for this project, I cut 350 cm. Now this is it, I've already made the crown. If you're wondering how we arrived at the crown, you can check on our previous videos. Now I'm going to attach it. And for the pattern, I use four by two. That is, I'm using four crowns of green, one, two, three, four, to red, two red. That is going to be four, two. So I have one here, I want to join it so you will see how my crown, how I join my crown. You pick the last, on the left hand you pick the last two, on the right hand you pick the next two. You join them together, you make a square knot like this. You make your square knot, you join it, then we make alternating square knots to hold it in place. We make another square knot to hold it in place like this. So now you can see I have two, four, two, four. All the crowns I have in all 42 crown knots. I'm going to join them together to start the bag. So you're going to join them like this. You pick the two here, and then you pick the two right here. You join together. See it, then we're going to join it here to make sure that everything is well secured. That is done. Then the last one here, you pick the green, you have two on both sides. You pick and join with a square knot. You can see what we have now. We've joined everything. We have 42 crown here, crowns to make our bag. So we are going to make two three four steps more of alternating square knots before we had our pattern all right we are continuing with our pattern i told us before that we are working on two by four that's two red to four green now i said in the in the last time that we are going to make an alternative knot about three four times so you see one two three four we have one two three four now so the next thing is we are going to introduce our design. Here you are going to make six square knots. That is three in all because you have one, two. This is a square knot. Another one, one, two. Making four, then one, two. Two. 
So what I'm saying is, now we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're having six here now. So now to make our knots, we are making our ball knot. You are not going to put it, you see the space up here, you put it in, put in the next one, then you draw it out. So, you draw it out. Hold it in place with a square knot. Returned. So you can see what I have here. I'm going to do the same thing here now. So I'm done with the second knot here. The next thing we are going to do is to do the one in the middle. The pick two here, two here. We make another three square knots. One, two, three. Then we're going to put it in. Put it into this hole and you draw it out under. That's your berry knot. You make a square knot to secure it in place. So you can see now we've done our berry knot. That's the same thing we are going to repeat around. So this is how our berry knot will look. All the red, you are going to make three, three berry knots like this. We are now moving to the next pattern. Now that we are done with our berry knot on all the red, we are working majorly on this green now. For the green, we have four crowns. One, two, three, four. You are picking the first four on the right hand, then the last four on the left. Then the two crowns in the middle will give you eight ropes. You are now going to make a bigger square knot. You can see it. You roll this over this, cross it with this, pull it out. You have your square knot. You do the same thing this way. This way. You have your square knot like this. Pull it to secure. Now that we have gotten our bigger square knots, you know we have four on the right, four on the left, eight in the middle. So you are going to divide the eight into two, you have four, four. You join four to this side, join four to this side. Now we're picking the first red here. Pick this, then you roll the green on it. This way. You don't pull too much. Mm. Pick the next green, you do the same thing, keep going for the next one, you do the same thing, you do the fourth one, then you pick the next one, this is the fifth rope, you are going to have 18 up. This is the fifth one. This is the sixth one. This is the seventh. Seventh one. And the last one for this side. You are going to repeat this twice. You pick the next red again. You do the same thing. You roll it all over.
so you can see what we have here now the same thing we are doing at this other side you are going to pick the first thread like this you roll it over exactly what we did here like this so we have done with both sides you can see we have done it twice the next thing now is to introduce white when i started this video i showed us that we are going to use white as part of our row we are now going to introduce the white you have it here do it twice so you have your white you push this to the background then you bring this out you see what i've done you roll the white on it you do it twice one two you pick the next green, you do the same thing, one, two, you do the same thing, one, two, the next one, So now we have finished with the whites. The next thing you are going to do now is to pick the right, the next right. You roll it over. I hope you are enjoying it. It's so interesting. You roll it over. You roll it over. So when we are done with this line, you pick the next thread. You are going to do exactly the same thing to give you what you have up here. So, all right. Now we are done with this side. The white in here, we have it here already. The two here, you are going to introduce the same thing here. Just like we have done in the previous part. You roll it over. So now it's completed you can see what we have here is what we have here now so the next thing we are going to do is to make berry knots at the beginning here you see we have three 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 but here we are going to have four you are going to pick this first two on the right and on the left you make a berry knot like i said before you make three square knots which will give you the berry knot You make another square knot, which is the second one, then you make the third one, so you pick the two in the middle, you pull, put it in the opening space up here and draw it out from the back like this you secure again with a square knot you pull this is your first very knot 
you pick two here with the two standing alone here you make another berry knot so when you are done with your three you put it in you bring it out you secure with another square knot That's the second one. Then the third one, you pick these two rows here. You make three square knots again. One. You pick the two ropes in the middle, you pass it through the opening here like this, pull it through the back again, secure with a square knot. That's the third one. Now we're going in for the last one, the last very knot. Make three square knot as usual. So this is the last one. We pull it in like we've done with the previous ones. We draw it out. We secure again with the square knot. So we have four berry knots here. So you can see we have completed the first stitch that's what we are going to do round so as you can see what we have here now you can see the pattern our four berry knots so the next stage now is how to continue the next thing we are going to do will give us something like this you can see what i've done here so what we are going to do is to make a bigger square knot like i have done in the beginning here you make a bigger square knot here then you are going to do both sides of the each knot and then we introduce the white in the middle. That's how we're going to continue. So this is the next one we're doing now. Now we're on the next stage. Like I explained before in the previous one, you are going to pick four on the left, four on the right. Then you have eight in the middle. You make your bigger square knot. Make your bigger square knot. Just like this, you can see it. So what we've done in the previous one, the same thing, you pick your red, then you roll over twice with your green. You pick the next green, roll over the red twice. You pick the next rope. You roll over twice. Remember, you're going to have eight ropes in all. Because in the middle, we have 16. So you have eight ropes in all. You pick number five, number six, seven. Number six, this number seven now. This number eight. So here you have four left. One, two, three, four. And you have four here. So you must have eight. You have to be very careful that you don't pick more than the normal rope. So the next, same thing we are repeating here again. You pick the next rope. You do the same thing, you roll over. So as you can see, we are done with our green now. We are going to introduce the white as usual. You pick your white rope, you roll it over twice. You 
Let's see what I've done. Pull it. Push it to the background. Then you pick the next green. You roll it over. Twice. You pick the next one. You roll it over twice. So you can see we are done with the white just like we've done before. We have done the white. You are now going to pick the red roll it over to have it twice like we have in the other ones so as you can see we have done with this side the same thing we are going to do here i've already done the two each knot and I've introduced the white in the middle. I want to close it up with the green now. These are you're going to continue. When you are done with the this one I'm doing, when you finish the first round, you're going to do the second one to have two of this. Then you're going to make the same berry knot that we have done here. You do the same here. That's how you're going to continue until the whole bag is completed. So So you can see our bag is already taking shape so what we have done here now you have your red like i explained earlier you're going to make square knot with this after that you make square knot with this you make with this and then you make with the two at the down to give you this four the same thing like that that's how you continue round until you are done with the bag all right we are the finishing stage of the bag you can see now we are rounding up so when you get to the end here you see in the middle i use four ball knots but when we are ending here you are going to make three one two three then we are going to make square knot in here you make square knot here square knot here another square knot here so see the way i'm going to pick it so i'm picking the four in the middle that's two on the right two on the left i'm going to make square knots When you are done with this, these two from the one you have just finished, you pick the next two to reach, you make another square knot. You, these two remaining here, you pick the next two, you make another square knot. Now I finished the first line, you go for the second line again. You pick the two here with this, you make another square knot. You pick the next one, you make a square knot. The next one, hmm. you finish the, the second row, you go for the third row now, you pick these two with the next two here you make another line of square knot as i've done already i'm finishing the square knot now you can see what i have here that's what you're going to reproduce here here you are going to make three ball knots here you introduce the square knot here you introduce here so by the time you've done that, you're going to have something like this. You can see, you're going to have something like this. So we're going to close it up by the side and everything and our bag is ready.